Hi, Adobe Presenter is an incredibly powerful program. On the Mac side though, it's a cut down version called Adobe Presenter Video Express, which is really all about capturing your screen, capturing what the camera can see, capturing your audio, and being able to create really cool video tutorials that any teacher can do to work with any sort of concepts that they're wanting to teach in their classes. Let's have a look at how simple it is to work with. Okay, I'm about to launch Adobe Presenter Video Express from the dock here. And remember, this is the Mac version. And as it opens up, all the previous projects that uh, you've been working on will appear for you ready to rework with them if you want to. But usually what you want to do is hit the green button to start a new project. Now, as soon as I hit the green button, it's going to activate the camera. So you're going to see me and the other camera that I'm working with at the moment in the green screen in my little studio here. And, but if I hit record, it's going to give me five seconds before it starts capturing the screen, but also capturing what the camera can see at the same time. So now we're recording. So if I jump over to, say, Premiere that I've got open at the moment, let's say I'm doing a little tutorial now on how to work with an in point and an out point. So I'll go to my I for in point there and my O for out point there, drag it onto a timeline. It could be anything at all that I'm showing off and I could be demonstrating virtually anything at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to deactivate uh, Presenter Video Express by clicking the button at the top there. Uh, there's a few shortcuts you could use as well. But this is where it gets really cool. If I take this marker to uh, the start, it gives me an option, I'll just turn the audio up here. It gives me some nice background effects. If I'm not happy with those, I can click on this little button down here and I can choose a different theme. Let's see what the top theme is here. It's Energy Blue. It gives me a different theme again with a different sort of music, which you may have heard before. And I could actually, I'll just pause that for a sec. I could actually change to a, a title here. We'll call it uh, Testing Presenter. So I've got Testing Presenter as my title and it's sort of sitting there in the middle. I prefer to have it down here on the bottom right hand corner. So I've got uh, my theme basically started if I hit play. And then we get to this yellow region, what's happening is... And I'll just mute it at the moment so uh, we're not getting confused with the audio, but you can see it's captured my screen. Let's say there's a section that I don't want to keep. So if we have a look at... So now we're recording. So that way when I say at the same time I don't want to have. So I'm just going to click on my little cutting tool now and set up an in point in the yellow region. And, and then set up an out point. So let's do that again. So I've got my in point and my out point. So now when I play back this edit, it's going to jump now over that. And what I can do now is just work with these buttons. Now these are the cool editing buttons. The great thing is you don't need to know anything about video editing. You just work with the yellow button, the green button, or the blue button. Now if I choose the green button, instantly I'm capturing what the screen, what was on the screen. If I click the yellow button, I'm capturing uh, what the camera can see. If I choose the blue button, I can be on the left of screen We'll just let that play. Say premiere that I've got open at the moment. Or if I choose the other blue button and hit play, I'm doing a little tutorial I can be on the right of screen. So as you're actually playing back what you've recorded, you can then decide whether you want full screen, full camera, part screen, part camera, on the left or on the right. And that is really cool. So once you've actually finished, I'll just mute the audio again. So we'll just finish off that. Let's go back to full screen. And let's say that's exactly the point we want to stop. So what I'll do is I'll do a little cut there again, set my in point there and my out point I will have at the end of the green section thereabouts. So that should be my edit. As I play this, I'll just turn the audio back on. So it's going to skip straight to the theme at the end as well. Now the other cool thing you can do, let's say there's a point there where that want to magnify in on some point of the screen. So I'm just going to take it to where I had just the whole screen. So coming into that green part there. Let's say I want to magnify on that section. What I can do is click on this magnifying pan and zoom button 
and then I can just simply do this process of grabbing the little side boxes and going in onto the area I want to get in close. Notice a little, uh, a little indication there on the timeline appears. And now it's gone in close, which is great. And then I'm back to me again. And if I want to sort of magnify back again, I can double click on uh, what I magnified in and it comes back to the main whole screen again, which is really cool. So there are a couple of features of Presenter, which are fantastic. Now the other thing that we can see is we've got the CC enabled. If I click on CC, it starts giving me some text and what I can do is just replace that text with what I'm actually saying. So I'll just take it back to the start here. So now we're recording. So if I go, so now we're recording. So now we are recording. We actually see the text of what I'm saying. So as I'm saying it, it's going to appear down there which is a really handy thing to do, especially for those people who are watching this who uh, can't hear me very well, is they can see the text and see what I'm trying to say. Now, when you've finished your actual recording and you've done the whole lot, you can choose to publish it. When you click Publish, it'll ask you to save. I'll just call it Test for the moment. And you can quickly save it to YouTube or you can save it to Dropbox. If you save it to Dropbox, it saves as an MP4 which you can then retrieve yourself from Dropbox and put anywhere you like. If you save it onto YouTube, it goes into your YouTube account, you can then grab the URL and then put it anywhere you like. Just note, if it goes over one minute, then you will be charged. But notice I've got it down to 39 seconds, so I've still got some room to, to move, but because it's less than a minute, it's totally free for me to actually publish it to YouTube or to Dropbox. But it will be $2 if it goes over a minute, so if you look up Adobe Presenter Video Express in the, uh, the App Store, the Apple App Store, you'll find that it doesn't cost a cent. It's totally free. It's a free tool to work with. And it's a great way of flipping the classroom. It's totally free if you keep it under a minute. Of course, it's only $2 if you're going over that minute. But uh, for those teachers who don't have great video editing skills, it's a really simple way of presenting important work for your students to be able to work with and see it and a, and a really practical way of flipping the classroom.